Leicester City didn't manage to survive in the Premier League this season and they're gonna get relegated to the Championship from the next one and this means only one thing some of their big players are actually gonna leave the club some of them on a free deal like probably Yuri Tielemans and some of them will join other clubs like Sujuncu already joined Atletico Madrid maybe James Madison is gonna be next maybe even Jamie Vardy is gonna leave the club so that's why we're gonna come in handy right now try to rebuild Leicester in the Championship and put them back into the Premier League and of course win the Premier League like they managed to do that in 2015 and the biggest aim is of this rebuild is gonna be for us of course to win the Champions League so if you enjoyed this rebuild and you want to see more rebuilds like that leave a like subscribe to the channel you know what to do but now let's start the Leicester rebuild in the Championship this is how the Leicester lineup is looking right now we got rid of James Madison Tielemans is no longer at the club we also let Suyuncu join Atletico Madrid Amarte is not in the club Mendy is not in even in the club Mendy's squad is looking like pretty bad average to be honest with you there are some key positions we definitely need to improve like the goalkeeper I don't want to rely on this Iverson guy like he's looking in the four right but I need someone better than him especially if we want to go already in the first season to the Premier League we need a new defender because Johnny Evans come on we cannot rely on 34 years of age Johnny Evans other than that maybe we can also go for a new midfielder because this guy is really good, Dosbury Hope, but maybe we need someone better than them. And of course, we need a new right mid slash right wing because we don't have currently anyone. I'm gonna leave Javi Bans at least for now in the club. I can see him actually staying at Leicester in the championship and try to actually promote them back to the Premier League. So maybe this is gonna be the start of this team. And of course, Daka. I'm gonna rely so much on Daka. We're gonna change probably the formation also with Ihianacho also in the lineup but I'm still not sure if Ihianacho is gonna stay. So if a good offer for Ihianacho comes, maybe we can actually sell him. Jamie Vardy is still there, but he's only gonna go down and down. He's 35 years of age. I don't see him actually staying for more than one season, maybe. So let me show you how much money we do have, and then we're gonna try to improve this squad massively. The border backing us with 73 million in the championship. This is a really good amount of money for a club that just got relegated basically from the Premier League, but the owners are ambitious. They want us to actually go back to the Premier League as fast as possible so let's improve this squad and the first player we're bringing to Leicester is gonna be one of the biggest French talents in the world football I'm talking about Zaire Emery he's the guy from the Paris Saint-Germain Academy he's currently only 16 years of age 72 overall and he has the potential to become 90 rated center mid man amazing player and we got him for only 4 million and since Leeds are also going to the championship why just not grab their goalkeeper man Ilan Melier we signed him for 13 million I'm super excited because we do have our goalkeeper for this entire rebuild. The winger that we're bringing to Leicester is gonna be none other than Alejandro Garnacho from Manchester United. We paid only 4 million for Garnacho and he should rock the world man in the championship and hopefully later in the Premier League so Garnacho, welcome to Leicester and hopefully the last signing of the first season with Leicester is gonna be Eric Garcia from Barca we paid 15 million for this guy but he should be a rock at the back of our defense this is how the current lineup is looking after all of the moves to manage to make I do believe that the team is pretty much stacked man and they should actually go to the Premier League already in the first try without any problems but let's just jump into the first game of the championship see how this team is going to perform and see if they're actually going to be no, any improvements needed because we do have 40 million still to spend but i don't want to buy like 10 players already in the first season so let's just jump in the first game of the championship and see how we're gonna do there this game of the season is gonna be versus host city in front of our fans i do believe that we can destroy them but let's see come on daka lead us to great things man Oh, come on now, Daka. Oh, look at Garnacho. Look at Garnacho. Come on, Garnacho. I need to actually give him the number t seven. Oh, to Daka. Mm, there is no pass the ball. Zaire Emery. Oh, good try though, but nice save from their goalkeeper. Oh, come on, Melier. Come on, Melier. Oh, Melier got beaten here. Oh, no. What a mistake, man. What a mistake from our CDM. Wow, we cannot let these type of uh, things happen in the championship, bro. Here, amazing one and what a mistake from our CDM they're taking the lead very early into this game come on man on oh, Harvey Barnes just cook bro cook 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 nice Harvey Barnes good skill moves here to Daka come on come on pass pass oh more more 
Oh, Zaire Emery. Oh, this could have been his first goal for the club. Daka right now. Oh, to Garnacho. Come on, come on, Garnacho. What a bad ball from Daka, but Garnacho managed to get to the ball. Nice. Come on, to Daka. Come on, to Harvey Barnes. Come on, Harvey Barnes. Come on, Harvey Barnes. Let's go. A little bit lucky, but we're taking that. Let's go. We're back into the game. Harvey Barnes. He should be the star of this team. Oh, Daka right now. Oh, give it to Castagne. Come on, come on, man. You're not in offside, but there is no one to pass the ball. This is so sad, but Javi Bans, Javi Bans, Javi Bans. Let's go. 2-1 for us versus Co. What a comeback even before the halftime expire. Harvey Bans. I expect like 30, 40 goals for him in the first season in the championship. Come on. With only one game left until the end of the season, we do have 17 points advanced to the second Norwich City, which means only one thing. We're definitely going to the Premier League next season. This is a huge success for our players. I expected that, to be honest with you. But let me show you what's the craziest thing that happened in the first season with Leicester. We are in the final of the FA Cup guys and if we manage to beat Aston Villa in the final we're gonna be in Europa League next season I think this is gonna be the first team from the championship that can go to the Europa League this is gonna be a crazy achievement but let me show you why this happened. It's because this team is ridiculously good, man. Look how good they're actually developing. Barnes is already 83 overall. Garnacho is 70. Look at Zaire Emery, 75 overall. This guy is gonna bump up in the rating so much, man. Let's see who the top goal scorer is. And probably for a lot of you, this is gonna be super surprising, but Jamie Vardy scored the most goal for us this season. EA are just forcing players that are higher overall than the other just to start ahead of them. I really don't know why, but it is what it is. Then Javi Bans added 22 goals, 7 assists. This Dennis Pryde, really interesting one. 13 goals, 5 assists. Look at Zaire Emery, man. Plus 4 overall, 3 goals, 1 assist. Not the great performance scoring-wise, but he's doing the job so let's just jump into the game versus Aston Villa and hopefully manage to win the FA Cup already in the first try with Leicester he's ridiculously good imagine us lifting this beautiful trophy man the FA Cup trophy come on boys we can do it 100% I really hope you enjoy so far this rebuild guys of course if so leave a like subscribe to the channel you know what to do but come on we do have some mission here to accomplish Oh, nice save from Melier here. Good one, man. This goalkeeper is going to save us so much times. Now Javi Bans to Garnacho. Give it to Javi Bans. Come on, Javi Bans. What a ball. Come on. Come on, Javi Bans. You should be faster than Konsa, man. Nice kill move. Nice kill move. Javi Bans. He forgot the ball. Come on. Why you forgot to shoot, bro? Man, he did everything perfect and then forgot just to shoot. What a disaster. Nice Javi Bans here. Nice to Daka. Come on, Daka. Okay, good one here to Christiansen. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. No, Emiliano Martinez, the World Cup winner. What a nice save. Oh, mistake. Mistakes are made. And Aston Villa are taking the lead here versus us. Ah, man. We had such a great opportunity to actually win the FA Cup and go to the Europa League next season. To mean so much money for our budget, but maybe it's still possible to be honest with you, but I don't see how we're gonna score here in the next 20th minute. We're not creating that many chances and Aston Villa just are a better team than us. Now it's looking like we're gonna lose the FA Cup, guys. This is definitely super sad, but it was also expected. Like, we're just far away from Aston Villa this season, man, and it is just a miracle how we even went to the... FA Cup final. Maybe last chance if they let us. Come on, come on, Daka. Come on, Javi Bans. Come on, Javi Bans. Start the run, Javi Bans. Javi Bans to Daka. Come on. No, we couldn't. We couldn't manage to make anything here versus Aston Villa. So let's just jump in the second season where we're going to be in the Premier League. Beginning of the second season in the board are giving us 136 million to spend. This is a huge amount of money and we're definitely going to try to spend all of them because this team definitely needs some improvements, man. Like the mid, the defense is, in my opinion, really good. Like they're young, they are developing pretty good. So I'm not going to touch the defense, but the midfield, the midfield is the main point that I really 
want to upgrade. Like Zeri Emery is amazing, but the other tools, they're not developing. They're not actually progressing that much. So I do think that we need to find a replacement for uh, both of them, basically. So we need a new CDM and a new center mid. And this is going to be our first transfer target. Also, Garnacho, he's playing really good. He played really good in the first season, but he's not developing that well yet. At least maybe he's one or two seasons short of actually starting for us. So maybe we can actually sign a primary right winger and Garnacho can be the backup of him and also of Javi Bans. So let me show you for which players are we gonna go. And we're bringing a monster at the back. Sangare decides to join our project and I'm super excited to have him on board because we paid 45 million for this guy to Arsenal, funny enough, but he's gonna be such a rock at the back. So Sangare, welcome to Leicester. Next player is super hyped in the United States as being one of the best young talents that are playing in the MLS and this is Thiago Almada. He's a cam, he's only 22 years of age. We need to pay 40 million for him to Atlanta United, but he should be the next Lionel Messi, man, according to some reports in USA. So let's see what's gonna happen with Thiago Almada at Leicester. And the winger that we're bringing to Leicester at our first season back to the Premier League is gonna be Jota from Celtic. We need to pay only 24 million for this guy, man, but I'm super excited to see how he's gonna develop at our club. And now we're in addition to these three bad boys. This is how the lineup is looking. Pretty awesome, man. But we still do have around 30 million that we can actually spend. And I'm actually thinking about improving the right back position. Castagne, he's not gonna develop that much. And Ricardo Pereira is still at this club. So maybe if we can use one of them as an exchange for a really good right back that can actually help us win so many more games through simulations in the Premier League. This is gonna be awesome. So maybe this is gonna be the last piece of the puzzle that we're gonna try to bring to Leicester for the second season in this rebuild. And the right back that we're bringing to Leicester is gonna be Mao Gusto from Chelsea. I never used this guy so far in any career mode rebuilds. So that's why I'm gonna be super excited to see how much he can develop at our club. So let's see where we're gonna stand by the end of the second season with Leicester. Look by the end of the second season, how this team is looking, man. There are some nice upgrades. Javi Bans is already 86 overall. I do believe that he can actually grow up to probably 91, 92 by the end of this rebuild. Zaire Emery is 78. He didn't develop that much because I do believe he didn't play that much. Daka is also not developing. So maybe we're gonna go for a new striker in the upcoming third season. But let me show you right now where we're standing in the Premier League. And with only one game left until the end of the Premier League season, we're currently fifth with the chance of actually becoming third if we manage to win our game versus Sheffield United. Manchester United have a game versus Nottingham Forest. So maybe they're actually gonna to win but let's check it out Spurs okay they do have a game versus Watford hey man you never know maybe they can borrow it and we can secure a spot in the Champions League after our third season back into the Premier League man Honestly, this is unreal performance from our team. I'm so proud of the team that we managed to create. I really hope you enjoy so far this rebuild and of course the team that we managed to create. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. You know what to do. But now before we go to the game versus Sheffield United, let's check it out who the top goal scorer of this team is. And it is actually Harvey Bars with 20 goals. Jamie Vardy is gonna retire after this season, but he managed to contribute with 19 goals, man. This is crazy good performance from Jamie Vardy. Thiago Almada, 10 goals, 3 assists. Not a bad performance. Jota, a little bit disappointed, to be honest with you. 7 goals, 6 assists. Look at Daka, man. Only 6 goals. He didn't play that much. Sangare with a nice upgrade. As I already told, Zaire Emery didn't play that much, but he just needs his time to actually develop. So let's just jump into the game versus Sheffield tonight and hopefully manage to secure at least a spot in Europa League. Come on, boys, let's just win the game and whatever happens in the other games happens. We don't care. We just need to win here just to secure that we do have at least a single chance of going to the Champions League next year, which is going to be, by the way, ridiculously achievement. Just going from the Championship to the Champions League directly. This is going to be such a fairy tale, but this is Leicester, man. Every I think is possible with Leicester. Harvey Barnes here. Ooh, nice to Daka. Come on, Daka. Okay, Daka with some space. Daka with a lot of space. Come on, come on. Let's go, Zeri Emery. Come on. Or no, is that Thiago Almada? I don't know. I think it's Thiago Almada. Thiago Almada with the goal for the club. Come on, this goal is putting us for sure at the fifth spot, maybe even further. Who knows? Come on. Daka right now. Okay, to Harvey Barnes. Bring it back. Come on, come on, come on, Zeri Emery now. Ooh, come on. Oh! 
Oh, a little bit lucky. We're taking that, guys. We're taking that. There is no way that we can actually lose this game. So let's see where we're gonna stand by the end of the second season with Leicester. Well, we finished fifth, but doesn't matter, guys. Spurs and Manchester United managed to win their game. So let's go to the third season and see how we can actually improve this team to make it even better. Beginning of the third season and look at our current budget. 192 million to spend. What's wrong? with this board man like why are they giving us so much money to be honest with you i'm really in shock this is how the team is looking it's pretty obvious which position we definitely need to improve and this is the striker and i do have one crazy idea to bring one superstar at this striker position that can actually help us massively accomplish our aims so let me show you who i'm talking about the crazy thing happened guys look who is training at our facilities we managed to sign erling Haaland. we needed to pay 213 million to manchester city and we also gave them daca but come on this is erling Haaland, and now he's gonna play at last man i'm super excited to have him on board i do believe right now we're turning into favorites to win everything we spent our entire budget on holland but it will be worth it 100 percent and now this is how the lineup is gonna look like let's see where we're gonna be at the end of the season three with erling Haaland on board wow what a signing and with erling Haaland in the squad we couldn't manage to finish in the top four of the premier league man but look how tight the battle for the title race was we were actually only five points behind the first manchester city man so we're not that far away of the best but we still do have a lot of work to do but let me show you right now where we're standing in the Europa League and in Europa League we're standing in the final of the competition this is unreal performance from our team we're gonna face AC Milan in the final which is a huge huge opportunity for us to actually go to the Champions League next season and receive even more money that we do have right now but let me show you right now how the team developed and of course who the top goal scorer is probably Holland. This is how the lineup is looking. A really good lineup, man. Javi Bans is 89 overall. Like, the midfield looks ridiculously good. Only Zaire Emery is not developing that much, but come on, it's normal. This guy is only 18 or 19 years of age. Maybe we can try to improve this position in the next season. The defense also looks kind of alright. Maybe we gotta, we gotta sign a new left back because this Christiansen is not developing that much. So maybe these are gonna be the two positions that we're gonna try to improve in the fourth a season just a new center mid and a new left back and i think this is going to be enough for us to actually compete in every single competition but now let's see how many goals erling Haaland does have for us 38 goals and 10 assists <laughs> nice 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 i'm super excited to see him next season man when we do have better players and we're hopefully gonna be in the champions league harvey bars is adding 19 goals and nine assists jota 15 goals and four assists Good, good performance from the boys. So let's just jump into the game versus AC Milan. Come on, boys. Can we win here versus AC Milan and put us to the next level, the Champions League? Oh, this two do have Rafael Leao. Ooh, nice one. It's gonna be a battle, guys. It's definitely gonna be a battle here. Pretty average game so far, guys, to be honest with you. Nothing serious happened, but maybe now let's see. Come on, come on, come on, Haaland. Do something magical, man. Okay, nice. Nice. Oh, come on. Let's go. What a finish. Thiago Almada. Come on. We're taking the lead versus AC Milan in the 37th minute. Come on, boys. What a nice assist from Zairi and the others. Is the rest is history. Thiago Almada with a beautiful finish here versus Mahignan. Come on. Erling Haaland right now. Oh, what a mistake from them. Haaland. Come on, Haaland. How can you miss that? But now. Oh. Oh, Thiago Almada, what a finish! What a finish from our boy, man. Thiago Almada, maybe he can be actually the new Lionel Messi, man. Who knows? Wow, this is amazing finish from him. Look at how he chipped. First of all, here, how Haaland missed that, I really don't know, but amazing chip, man. Amazing one. Come on, we're getting closer to lifting our first major trophy with Leicester. And the parties can begin because we're gonna lift our first trophy with Leicester, guys. I really hope you enjoy so far this review. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Can we reach 10K subscribers by the end of the month? This is gonna be 
awesome if we can manage to do that. But now, let's go. We do have a mission to accomplish. Let's try to win the Premier League and the Champions League in the fourth season with Leicester. For the fourth season, the board are giving us 209 million to spend this Champions League. Money men are feeling amazing. So let me show you for which center mid and left back we're going to go for in the fourth season. And then we're going to see if we're capable of winning everything with Leicester. And the midfielder that we're bringing to Leicester is going to be none other than Jude Bellingham. We managed to, to sign him by paying his release clause. It was actually 100 and only 30 million, man. For Jude Bellingham, this was like a bargain. So that's why we pulled the trigger and we signed Jude Bellingham. Come on. And the left back that we're signing is going to be Ian Madsen. He was currently at Nottingham Forest. We signed him for 45 million, but he's currently 84 overall. So amazing player we're bringing to the team. And now this is how the lineup is going to look like with an addition of Jude Bellingham and Madsen. I'm super excited to see how further we can go actually in this season. So let's just jump into it and let's see where we're going to stand by the end of it. With only two games left until the end of the fourth season, we do have six points advantage to the second Liverpool. And basically, if we get a point from Nottingham Forest here, we're going to be crowned champions of the Premier League. What a rebuild, man. Honestly, let's check also where we're standing in the Champions League. We managed to top our group without dropping a single point. Whoa, nice. Then in the round of 16, we needed to eliminate Inter and we did that. Then in the quarterfinals, we beat Spurs, funny enough, 4-3. But come on, this is Spurs. They can never win anything. Then in the semifinals, we destroyed Paris Saint-Germain 6-1 on aggregate. And we're actually going to face Monaco in the final, not Real Madrid. Very, very interesting. So Monaco is going to stand away from us actually completing this rebuild. I'm super excited to see how the team develops and of course who the top goal scorer of team is. This is how the team is looking pretty awesome, man. Like honestly, midfield is amazing. Attack is super good. Jota is currently injured, which is very sad. So that means that he's probably going to miss the final games of the Premier League and maybe the Champions League final but we do have Garnacho for this type of situations the defense the two center backs they don't develop that much I do believe that they reach actually their full potential but come on we're gonna rely on them of course Gusto is a really good right back Madsen is a good left back Melier is a good goalkeeper so now let's check how many goals Erling Haaland does have Erling Haaland has 39 goals and 11 assists wow this man is a monster Harvey Barnes also a really good player 91 he's gonna be by the end of this rebuild hopefully 21 goals and 17 assists Thiago Almada also great performer Jude Bellingham 17 goals and 15 assists whoa he has more goals and assists than our left winger man come on this is ridiculously but nice 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 let's jump in the game versus Nottingham Forest and hopefully manage to secure the Premier League come on Javi Bans come on Javi Bans look at Jude Bellingham oh to Haaland Haaland Erling Haaland let's go let's go war on machine Erling Haaland Holland is come on this is gonna be a walk in the park for us to actually win the premier league here amazing ball from harvey Barnes to erling Haaland. no way that he can miss that come on he's this is his 25th golf in 37 games oh Thiago Almada here oh to Haaland. come on erling Haaland. 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 oh i think we messed it up yeah we did mess it up a little bit no we didn't jude bellingham and erling Haaland. what a nice connection let's just jump and see if there are gonna be celebrations by the end of this game there it is the party can begin because in a matter of seconds we're gonna lift the premier league for the first time what a rebuild man but the rebuild is definitely not over yet we still do have the champions league to conquer so Come on, let's enjoy this moment and now let's jump into the game versus Monaco and hopefully manage to complete the rebuild with Erling Haaland. Come on. There it is, the trophy that we wanted so much from the beginning of this rebuild. Can we lift it, guys? Come on, boys. Erling Haaland, lead us to great things, my boy. Lead us. Ooh, nice defensive abilities from our players. Come on, boys. Erling Haaland right now, he's super dangerous when he has the ball. Give it to Harvey Barnes. Oh, Harvey Barnes. Come on, Harvey Barnes. Show me what you can do, Harvey Barnes. I want to pass it to Haaland, to Haaland, to Haaland, to Haaland. Whoa, what a nice save from their goalkeeper. This could have been 1-0 for us already super early, but maybe now Haaland. Oh, come on, Haaland. 
Wow, what a save, man. Okay, nice ball here to Haaland. Mm, there is no one to pass the ball. Jota wants it, but let's give it to him. Come on, Jota. Oh, how you missed that, man? Oh, this looked really like a goal to me, but he missed it somehow. Come on, Jota. Come on, boys. Let's play the best 45 minutes of this rebuild right now. We need to win versus Monaco. We do have the better players. We do have Erling Haaland, who is unreal. We just need to take our chance and score them and not let them have this one chance, score this goal and basically end the game 1-0 for them. Come on, Boros. We can do it. Come on, Haaland. Nice one here from Haaland. Jota, give it to Jota, give it to Jota, come on Jota, come on Jota, oh this looks nice, Jota, from there on, Jota, go, let's go, 78 minutes, Jota is delivering the Champions League for now, if it stands like that, come on boys, Ooh, this now looks like a relief, amazing here goal from Diogo Jota, I really thought at some point to actually pass to Haaland, but... Come on, Jota deserves that. He's coming off from an injury and for sure this will boost his confidence. Oh, come on now, Thiago Almada here to, Dio, to Jota. Come on, Jota. Come on, Jota. I'm going to pass to Erling Haaland and he should finish them. Come on, Haaland. Man, Haaland honestly panicked, I do believe, in the final of this Champions League. Like, what's happening with him? But maybe now. Come on now. Come on, Haaland. Come on, Haaland, he missed again, man. But doesn't matter, we won it, let's go. There you go, we are gonna leave this beautiful trophy in a matter of seconds. I'm super happy with the rebuild that we managed to make. I really hope you enjoyed as well, of course. If so, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. But now, let's enjoy this moment. Come on, come on, leave this beautiful trophy, let's go. Champions League winners, Leicester City. I wish you a great day, and bye-bye.